Tanaka-san towing the slab and the boogie down here tonight. Put the NYPD hat on, you can see. This will be his ace start on the year, and it'll be also, in his career as a Yankee, his 171st career start. And he'll begin the game with Cedric Mullins, who tries to butt his way on. It's a dead-end butt near third, and no chance for LeMayhew. You don't get that lean or that running start. Makes it much more difficult. There he goes, the throw. In time, he threw a bullet. The tag applied by Estrada. Two and one on Iglesias. And he hits a fly ball. Left field. Gardner's there to make the play for the second out. We're scoreless with two outs in the top of the first. DJ Stewart stepping in. Stewart with a drive into right field. DJ Stewart is back on the horse. After an 0 for 3 game one, he hits a home run for the fifth time in six games. And the Orioles strike first in game two in the Bronx. 2 2. Swing and a miss, and that will do it. There is Keegan Aiken from Alma, Michigan, drafted by the Orioles in the second round back in 2016 out of Western Michigan. With second and third, this is Clint Frazier. Hit shortly to short. They're going to come home with the throw. It is not handled by Cisco, and the game is tied at one. First and second, there's Glaber Torres. Line drive, that's a base hit to left center field. Rounding third is Voigt. They're sending him home. Here's the throw. It's way offline. So an RBI single for Torres. The other runners move up, and it's 2-1 Yankees. Orioles bring the infield in second and third for Miguel and Duhar. That one is driven to left field. That ball is one hop up against the wall. Two-run score, and Duhar with a two-run double, and the Yankees lead 4-1. to one. Your defense doesn't help you, and all of a sudden it begins to snowball. That will help. High fastball to strike out Sanchez two down. A full mile an hour on average quicker this year for Tanaka. Swing and a miss. It's in the dirt. Sanchez makes the throw to Voigt, so it's a strikeout put out 2 3. And Lakins cuts the fastball for strike three. Strike three, Mountcastle down looking. Seven in a row retired by Tanaka. Well, you're starting to see Tanaka find that control again and just dot in the corner with this slider right here. Runners lead first and second, no one out. That one's driven deep to center field. Mullins back, still back, on the track, at the wall. See ya, into the Yankee bullpen. A three-run shot for Voigt, and the Yankees lead seven to one. It's like the foot stuff works even on the home run, but you can see the flip of the bat that Luke Voigt knew he got this one, and this is probably a knockout punch for the Yankees. Have turned laborious into runs. Torres rips this one in the hole to shortstop. Iglesias gloves it to second for one. On to first, make that two. A beautifully turned double play by the Orioles. That was a work of art by Jose Iglesias. Deep in the hole at short. Got it to Hanser Alberto, who spun around to Davis for the 6-4-3 double play. Grounded to first. Voigt's right there, steps on the back. Masahiro has retired 3-6-9. He's retired 12 in a row. Only Mike Trout has hit more home runs than Luke Voigt. And Luke is tied with Fernando Tatis Jr. and Nelson Cruz with 15. Driven out to left field and deep, going back Mountcastle. He's on the track at the wall. See ya. Mike Trout has company. 16th home run for Luke Voigt. Another three-run shot. And the Yankees lead 10 to 1. So six ribbies on two swings. Big night offensively for Luke Voigt. So Brooks Krisky will try to get the final three outs of this one. Strike three, Holiday tosses the bat away. He's halfway to first base. Doesn't realize he struck out. Plenty of reasons to be aggravated. Swing and a miss. Baleka down on strikes. And the Yankees are one out away from a doubleheader sweep. And the 2-2. Hit sharply, but right to Estrada. And that will do it as the Yankees win this one 10-1. Ball game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win.
Well, they sweep the doubleheader in what was a wonderful day for the Yankees.